What's up friends? I have the Viltrex 85mm f1.8 lens here, as you can see. Lighter than it looks. It looks like it would be pretty heavy, but, uh, you know, I will say I do miss the uh, aperture ring on here. You have to do it on the Fuji with the uh, little turn wheel, which um, I gotten used to it by now, but, you know, anyways. Um, so I'm going to make a video review of this lens, just not at the moment because I'm still reviewing it and still kind of getting used to it. Uh, so I will release that soon when I finish it. But today I wanted to show you real quick how to update the firmware on the Viltrex lenses. Um, when you get them, uh, all you need is the lens and uh, you connect it directly to the computer when you open the back here. Uh, you can see here, I'll focus on there, right there. It's a micro USB. Uh, so get your cable, get your lens, get a computer, either a Mac or a uh, Windows computer. I'm going to be using a Mac, um, and uh, it's actually straight, very straightforward. So let's migrate to the computer, and I'll show you how to do it browser search for viltrux.com now this is going to be different than viltruxstore.com uh, I it says new firmware update but this looks like it's just like a fucking blog uh, so this confused me a little bit if you go to actual viltrux website it's not secure not sure why and it's in Chinese but if you go to uh, translate to English uh, you'll notice there's a download center here. Click on that bad boy. Uh, wait for this. Find your lens. Mine is a 85 1.8 XF. Or is it H2 perhaps? H2, where you at? H2, 85 XF. Okay, here we go. All right, so here it is. It's actually quite straightforward. All you gotta do is download that bad boy right there. It's gonna show up here. Open that up. It's gonna be a zip file. Uh, once that opens up, you will, let's see here, there it is. Open that up. Uh, you will see here firmware update instructions, blah de blah de blah. You, what you're looking for is this .dat file, .dat file, .dat file is what you're looking for. Uh, so now what you can do is you can plug in your Viltrux lens. Well, so here's your lens. Uh, pop this bad boy off. It's kind of weird because like, you don't really want it exposed up like this because of all the fucking particles that jump down in there, but whatever. Grab your cable. Plug that bad boy in right there. Just to be safe, I'm gonna just cover that up like that. And spin it around here. And we're gonna plug this in here like that. And we're good to go. All right, awesome. So once you plug it in, finally, I think my cable was kind of messed up how to use a different one. This will pop up uh, in Windows, you know, you'll have to go to like your file explorer and find where it's at. Anyways, open that up. Uh, so now you're in the Viltrux folder. You can click on device information, it's to show you the software version, mine's already updated since I did it. But essentially what you do is you take this DAT file, you plop it in here. And that's essentially all you do. Uh, so you just wait for it to do its thing. It's going to disappear for a few seconds. And then it's going to come back and once you click on it, you see that that file is gone. And when you click on information, this .txt file, you should see that the software version updated. Um, so this should have been at 1.8 and now it's at 1.9. And you're done. So now you disconnect uh, your lens and your firmware is updated. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, and 
so yeah, so that's essentially it. Now your Bill Trucks lens is updated. Um, so yeah, I would say very easy to deal with. The only thing you have to deal with is navigating that website because it's... Unless someone found a different website where they have that on, that's the only website I found it on, um, BillTrucks.com. So just translate it to English if you don't speak Chinese or can read Chinese. Uh, and you're done. And now uh, you can, you know, reinstall. And uh, you're good to go. So, yeah, this is what it looks like on the XH1 body. Um, I'll do a review probably in a few days, um, so look out for that. But yeah, if this was helpful, smash that like button and give me a little follow. It helps quite a bit, and I'll see you guys next time.